Assalamualaikum and a very good day. My name is Chair Muhammad Zair and I'm going to demonstrate the virtual tool in University Technology Malaysia, Johor Bahru. This video will show each of the function available in the virtual tool for user to fully understand in using the application. This is the starting point of the virtual tool, which the place is located at the main gate of UTMJB. The 360 video and audio will run automatically. There are several components that can be identified in the virtual tour, such as navigation menu, hotspots, and controller. I will briefly explain each of the components. First is the navigation menu. The navigation menu is to display list of places of interest in UTMJB. The list shown is according to the user requirement analysis. By clicking one of the lists, it will direct it to the specific location. The controller have various functions that helps user to interact and enhance their experience in the virtual tour. The first button is the home button, which return user to the starting point of the virtual tour. As the second button is a set of buttons to next or return to the previous scene in virtual tour. User will be moved randomly onto the new scene in the virtual tour. The third button is a set of buttons to zoom in and zoom out of the scene. The zoom in helps user to focus on one object in the tour while zoom out shows a wider view on the scene. The purpose of the function provided is for user to adjust their preference view. The function of the auto rotate button is to activate auto rotation on the tool. This is for user that prefer to sit back and enjoy the scene of the tour. By clicking the button again, we'll deactivate the auto rotation. Next is projection button. The function is to switch projection view of virtual tour. There are three types of projection, which is rectilinear, stere stereographic, and fish eye projection. Moving on, the gyroscope button is to activate gyro sensor in a device to detect the rotational movement of a person. The full screen button is to enter full screen mode. The current view of virtual tour is in a full screen mode. To change, click the button will return to the original view. The purpose of the full screen view is to remove unnecessary obstacle for comfortable view. The virtual reality mode button is to toggle VR compatible view for user to visualize the scene. It is required for user to adjust the goggle first to obtain comfortable view before starting the tool in VR mode. The function will be only available in smartphone device. Lastly, the map button is used to display mini map on the screen. The interactive map display a set of place of interest. The field of view in the map markers indicates the current visible view around the tour. The movement of field of view in the map marker is corresponding to the user movement on the tour. A narrow field of view is focusing on one object, while a wide angle of field of view 
shows more detail of the tour. The interactive map can also be zoomed and panned around the map. By clicking the markers on the map, user will be moved to a specific location. Another feature that available in the virtual tour is the hotspot button. There are four types of hotspot in the tour. The first one is video hotspot. The button is used to display video that related to the scene. Next is the web link hotspot. The function will lead user to external source or website related to the object or the scene. Moving on to the information hotspot, it is a button to display text information of the object or the scene. Scene link hotspot is a button to change different location on the virtual tour. That's all the component that available in the virtual tour. I will end my demonstration by viewing all the scene in the virtual tour.